Hey there everyone, it's John from Adults Have Toys 2, where we take a closer look at the things that bring us fun and satisfaction. Today we're taking a look at the Argon 1 Pi 4 Raspberry Pi 4 case. It's an all aluminum case, and this is just a quick look, so not a full review of the internals and how it comes together. Let's get started. So this is just something real short off the top of my head talking about this Raspberry Pi case that I picked up. In the box you get the case along with the manual and a couple little baggies full of things. Here's the top of the case. Uh, there's a fan and those couple of metal things sticking out are actually what connect to the processor and RAM and have the whole body act as a heatsink. In the bags you get all the screws, the rubber feet, some silicone pads for thermal transfer and this little breakout board that connects to the audio and the HDMI ports so that way you have all the ports on one side of the box. The bottom of the box is all plastic which helps with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Here's the Raspberry Pi 4 board itself next to the case. It's not the most compact case but I think having the ports all on one side, along with the cooling that this offers, uh, makes it worth it. Here are the silicone pads attached to the metal sticking out of the case, and where they line up on the board with the processor and the RAM. What I didn't realize before buying this case is actually the GPIO pins are repeated. You actually put the GPIO pins into the case itself, and then the signals are all brought over to another set of pins on the case. You screw in the actual board itself along with the extension board. And I'm just going to be quiet for a second. Once the case is all together, you can see that the bottom is actually semi-transparent. You can see the board inside. Just attach the sticky feet. And you can see here on the back how well the ports line up with the cutouts of the case. The ports on the right are the ones that are actually on the Pi itself, and the ones on the left are actually on the extension board. Here are the repeated GPIO pins. On this set, the power pins are actually color-coded, which is nice. Though I've heard there's some issues with analog video. Picked up a microSD card. Remember, always install the microSD card after you've installed the case. Here you can see the card inside of the case, inside of the board, and there's a little bit of an overlap. And that's pretty much it. The Argon 4 Raspberry Pi 4 case. Build quality is very good. Couple little blemishes here and there, but overall I'm very satisfied with how solid this case feels. And so far with some overclocking and some gaming on this system, I've had no issues.